What's going on everybody? Setting 007, working on the rear wheel cylinder for a drum setup. This is a Nissan Sentra SV. So what I gotta do is remove the cylinder. The cylinder is bad. As you can see, put this here. You can see it's um, no good. It's pushing out. It's destroyed. So what I'm gonna do is um, work on removing this. So I have a 10 millimeter right now. I'm gonna remove the um, the brake line, and then um, obviously I have to rebuild the rear drums, the brake shoes, rather the spring setup. So this here, brand new. What I'll do is I'll uh, try and uh, leave a link in the description for the parts. I'm going to be changing. Okay. All right. So we work on that. Let me um, prepare myself for the fluid to come apart. Yeah, this is all no good. These are the old pieces. Okay. The water out the way. As you can tell, this basically exploded on itself because uh, they waited too long to change it and it fell apart. Just started leaking first on here, the pads, and then, you know, it was downhill from there. All right, let's uh, look at it. Get in Get the oil. Take it apart here. Uh, this uses a uh, DLT3 brake fluid, so I'm just gonna pull that out. Let's see, that's right. so I'll leave that in there for now. I'm gonna release these two bolts here for that. Actually, got the right. Uh, this would be 10 millimeters, I believe. Yep. All right. So again, Mr. Setting 007. Working on removing the rear wheel uh, for the what do you call this thing again? Uh, the wheel cylinder. The wheel cylinder on the top for the rear drums. It's basically the hydraulic cylinders that push out the shoes to make contact with the rear drum. So these are. You know, it's not hard to change here as well. You know, they're wearable objects or parts in the brake system that do sometimes become faulty. But in this case, I believe it's driver error. You know, she did not heed the warning of the brakes making noise and telling her that it's time to change the brake shoes. Um, I did it for her uh, like a year and a half ago or so. So she's been dragging them for some while, some time. And I did all the hardware because it was a disaster when I first went to it. So again, I'm back. So I'm going to have to make sure um, I add her timeline for my repairs so I can um, remind her that it's time to, uh, you know, have it changed as opposed to waiting for her to remember. I'm not gonna remember everything, but I'll have to make sure that I put her in my um, phone, you know, just to, to remind myself, to remind her that it's time to have her brakes checked. I told her now every six months, uh, just to come, you know, bring her by, take a look at it, make sure that um, everything looks good how far the wear is at that time and then you know we'll go from there as far as um updating changing parts and that's that because you know apparently that's going to be the best way to deal with it moving forward so that we don't come to this impasse again of um you know last minute 
brake job needed because the brake pedal is to the floor and it's not stopping safely and you're jeopardizing your family and friends who are in the car unknowingly that the car is not maintained properly and there's a safety issue because the brakes are not stopping all of a sudden you know so that's what it is she told me she heard a bang on this side they replaced the fluid that didn't work they didn't see any fluid but I saw fluid when I brought it here and stopped and that's why initially in the video you saw that I had um, you know the absorbent below it all right so this is this part of changing I'm just gonna replace this in here and then I'll um, obviously have to bleed it once I get everything together. Like and subscribe.